Welcome to another 3D comparison video. We are going to discuss GLB files. So this is a standardized file format used to share 3D data and it has some advantages over other models. As we can see, this can contain information regarding 3D models, so regarding meshes, UVs and stuff like that, but also for scenes, lighting, materials, node hierarchy, and also animations. If you're gonna take a look at the advantage of, of GLB files over GLTF, we're gonna see that most importantly, these files are a lot smaller. So we see that the file size is uh, typically around 33% smaller than GLTF. And this is mainly because all the files are stored within a single file. This means that we're going to have some faster loading speed. So this is why GLB files are widely adopted. Regarding the readability of the file, this is one of their, uh, let's say, disadvantages. As we can see, readability and editing is more difficult. But keep in mind that open software solutions like Blender have support for GLB files and also GLTF files. So we can easily have those open, edited and exported to other purposes. So let's take a look at GLTF files also. So this is also a standardized file format developed by Kronos Group. And as we can see, this has been developed several years ago and the last stable version was released two years ago. And in terms of file adoption, we see that GLTF is currently maintained by, by Kronos Group, so the same uh, company that uh, developed it. And as we can see, it's not a company, it's most, uh, it's a consortium. Uh, as we can see, it's open non-profit member-driven consortium with um, over 170 organization. And their main purpose is to standardize 3D format for various applications such as, such as 3D graphics, virtual reality, augmented reality, and, and machine learning and others. So let's take a look over here on the Sketchfab Help Center. They have um, a link regarding GLTF, GLB, and also USDZ files. As we can see over here, Sketchfab platforms has a possibility to convert 3D data into, into GLB files. So we see that the main advantage is that we can also use PBR materials for this. And Sketchfab have automated a system that will also generate a normal version for the GLB file with the original full-sized uh, textures, but also a 4K and a 1K uh, file for this. So if you're gonna move a little bit forward and compare GLB files with OBJ, so OBJ are let's say the classical approach to a standardized 3D file format. But as we can see there are some uh, differences. So GLB is a binary file while OBJ is a text-based file format. And we see that the main advantage is that GLB files are smaller and also load faster than OBJ. So OBJ is currently becoming a, an obsolete file format since GLB can do the same, but at the same time it can also support animations, which is only available for other 3D file formats such as FBX. And most importantly, we see that it can support PBR materials. And that's the main uh, advantage. So where can we access GLB files? I put over here a link, as we can see on Sketchfab, if you're gonna go to tags, GLB, we're gonna see a wide variety of 3D models. Some of them are free to download and um, can be used in various scenes depending on the content copyright. We're gonna see that some models have this button for download. For example, this crocodile high detailed model. 
we see that information regarding texture and also some lighting within the viewer from Sketchfab. As you can see, this model is quite low, so only uh, for 2K uh, triangles. If I'm going to download the model, we're going to see that we have that GLB file. But also, as we discussed previously, we have the GLTF converted file. So this is 35 megabytes. This is 13. But we also have converted files for various resolutions. So 2K texture, 1K texture. If you're going to check some other models, we, for those that have this animated button, like this dragon, we're going to see that we can have the model also have some animation embedded to the model. So just like on FBX. And we see that this dragon is also quite low poly, so only 20k, but at the, at the same time it has a lot of details. And if you're going to go to download, so we see that uh, this license is CC attribution, but I will check the download. We're going to see that we have that original file format and also the GLB converted. So in this case, 1K and uh, 2K texture. OK, so another website where we can obtain GLB files is CSM. So I put a link over here to their gallery. And as we can see within the gallery, there are various community showcase models. For example, like this gorilla, we're going to see the input image and the resulting file format, 3D file for this. As we can see, we can visualize it within the viewer and we can also go to download mesh and this will allow us to download that GLB file. Okay, so I hope you you find this video useful. If you also encounter GLB files and you don't know how to open them, you can directly import them within Blender. So I will do a different video regarding this case study. Also have the object loaded into Blender, which can natively support GLB files. But within other CAD software, we're going to see we're going to have to export the file as a different file format, such as OBJ for Fusion, which is a legacy file format. OK, thanks for watching. Consider to, to comment to this video if you have any tips and tricks and stuff like that regarding GLB files or some other elements. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.